Attach the chains to the test bench, far enough apart to support the valve body while it's being loaded for testing. Ensure that the valve is open and positioned so that the holes in the end plates which will pressurise the valve align with the holes in the flange. Move the adjustable end plate as close as possible to the flange opposite the hydraulically operated end plate. Insert the locking pins and push the cross member up against the pins. Rotate the valve on the hydraulic pump clockwise to close. And pump to clamp the valve into the test rig until the gauge reaches 400 kilograms and no more. Now open the valve to the outlet drainage line and close the valve to the outlet gauge. Open the inlet pressure gauge valve. Operate the inlet pump until a steady stream is running through the drainage line and close the valve. Operate the inlet pump until the gauge reaches 1.5 times the maximum line pressure of the valve. Close the inlet pressure gauge valve. Visually check the valve for leaks and observe the gauge for pressure change. If no leaks are evident and the gauge remains static, the test valve has passed the shell test. Depressurise by opening the outlet drainage valve. Then close the test valve. Close the outlet drainage valve and open the outlet pressure gauge valve so that any bypass leakage can be detected. Operate the inlet pump until the gauge reaches 1.1 times line pressure and close the inlet valve. If pressure remains at zero, the valve has passed the set test.